Hello, everyone. I'm Jim Longworth, and welcome to another edition of Try It Today, coming to you once again from our home away from home, the Senior Botanical Garden in uh, Kernersville, which I hope you'll visit. We'll tell you more about that later on. Speaking of later on, that's when the roundtable shows up, and we'll get into all sorts of controversy, so stay tuned for that. Between now and then, some great information and great guests coming your way, including the discussion about the link between education and jobs. All that's coming your way, so I hope you'll stay with us. But first, we're going to start out speaking of education. We have a connection to that story because two gentlemen have been doing a lot for education and for students over many, many years. Next to me, my good friend David Daggett, attorney with Daggett Schuler, and distance behind us, his partner, Griff Schuler with Daggett Schuler. Welcome, gentlemen. Good to see you. Hey, Jim. Um, David, and anybody can jump in, but I'm just, I want to talk to you about this backpack program. We've talked about it before on the show. Um, but for people that maybe just moved into the area, hadn't heard of it, give me a capsule of uh, what it is and how it's different from other programs in the area. Well, first of all, usually we'd be doing this in August, but we're doing it now in October with school going back shortly. Right. Basically, what we do is we partner with the Winston-Salem uh, uh, Police Department. Chief Katrina Thompson has been a great supporter of our community. I think she heads off crime by being involved in projects like this. This program with the police department, we do uh, backpacks, very nice backpacks uh, for kids. One of the unique things is, is they're completely stuffed, and I don't know if I can show it here, but crayons, paper, pens, scissors, glue, wow. pencils, everything that's on the back to school yeah, turn list. turn that frontwards, so let's see on the camera. That's pretty yeah, neat. The, uh, the, everything that's on the back to school list okay. for kids really is nice. in the backpack. Okay. And what research shows is a young person who gets a good start in their education, it can change their whole life and make our communities better for the future. Exactly. Uh, Griff, uh, how many schools do you guys go to? Um, because David mentioned the pandemic, so I'm wondering, it's sort of a combination mm -hmm. question. How many schools and students do you typically serve, and how are you doing this during the pandemic? I mean, has it thrown everything off or what? Well, one of the great things about this uh, backpack program is, is in addition to working with the Winston-Salem uh, Police Department, we also work closely with the uh, Winston-Salem Forsyth County School System. And they guide us and direct us on uh, how to best do it each year. Um, and obviously this year, uh, things are a little bit different with the timing, but we're still delivering it to the same schools, uh, the same students, same number of students that we have always done. Uh, obviously, as David said, Jim, the timing is, uh, is very different this year. Normally, uh, it's in August and our, um, our office staff gets together. It's, it's, it's quite frankly become a tradition of our law firm. That's right. Uh, yeah. Getting together in, 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 uh, in August and doing it. And so now we're, we're delayed a couple months. Right. Yeah, yeah. So earlier this week, we had a party outside in our parking lot, properly spaced. When some police officers come, our office staff, we stuff the backpacks. Something that you'll notice is we have, I think, six different colors back packs, yeah, right. uh, no logos on them, so right. the kids aren't stigmatized as to which kids get the pack. Yeah, because, yeah, not every kid gets one, and no. if it had said, courtesy of Daggett Schuler with a big logo, it would have been exactly. great for the well, law well, firm. Well, what but it would not... be as a billboard, I'm a needy kid who's underprivileged. Right, right. And we don't want that. So what we do is we get these to the school administrators who can identify the pockets of the most needy kids, get those kids off to the best start we can. Right. And David, I think the great thing is, is that we've heard specifically every year we've done it from the principals that have given us feedback of individual stories of kids that would not have been able to have the school supplies or even have uh, the backpack in general if it wasn't for the program. And so oh, it's, it's really a great way to um, help the kids out that, that need it from the very, very beginning. And very quickly, didn't you used to put a note in here about something? Is that? Uh... Yeah, yeah, we still have a note in there on tips on uh, being safe, their education, those sort of things. I just think that's So that's great. each one. The other thing is these are nice, sturdy backpacks. They're not a oh, yeah. cheap sling bag. They're, right. They're nice. These it's, are great. They, they can use them all year, and it, it works out great for the And students. this is how, tell me again, how many years you've been doing this? This is the sixth year partnering with the Winsam Police Department. We packed them last week. Next week, we're out with some police officers visiting the schools. I just think that's great. Up on screen, daggettshewerlaw.com is a general website to read about the services that are offered there through these guys. I just I don't know of two finer <laughs> public servants two finer public servants than the ones seated next to me. They do great work. We have work. a lot of fun. Well, I know you do. <laughs> and we, we have, have a lot, lot of help. We and have great, great office staff, great, yeah. great law firm. Great staff, great team doing a lot for a lot of people. Thanks, guys, for doing this. Thanks for having us. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> 